Number nine, skipping Scrum events. All Scrum events are essential for a team success. You cannot skip any events. You know, it's the minimum viable list of events that you have. You can't cut anything out of that. A junior Scrum team might be tempted to skip the retrospective to buy some more time to meet the sprint goal. Yeah, actually, it's not that different from last time. So do we really need to have retrospective? If a Scrum master accepts this kind of deal, he's not just, or he or she is not just only providing a disservice to the team. Actually, the proposal itself has already assigned how desperately a retrospective would be needed. The other version is that the Scrum master postpones the retrospective into the next sprint. Okay, beyond this inspect and adapt aspect, the retrospective shall also serve as a moment of closure that resets everybody's mind so that the team can focus on the new sprint. That's the reason why we actually have the retrospective after the sprint review and for the sprint planning of the next sprint. If you postpone it into the next sprint, you will interrupt the flow of the team then. You know, you create an additional cognitive load by context switching. You know, you're working on something completely new and now you have to go back to the old thing. And it also delays the tackling of possible improvements. 